Hello and welcome guys. Today I'm going to show you an another boot related issue in Red Hat Enterprise Linux server and I'm running RHL 7.2. So in my two previous videos if you have gone through I have talked about kernel panic and also I have prepared one video where if you have first issue regarding control D and file system inconsistency how we are going to troubleshoot and in today's video what I'm going to show you is if you are having some issue with your grub and when you restart your system probably uh, and schedule reboot or for any changes you have made on the system and you wanted to reboot the system to take effect and once you reboot it it landed into grub prompt so how you're going to troubleshoot that issue and make your system available online as soon as possible so let me just show you the steps here and please uh, make a note that whenever you have an issue with grub prompt then it is most likely the issue with your grub.cfg file uh, where in RHL 7 it is under slash etc grub2 and under that you would have one file called grub2.cfg so if that file have some inconsistency or if that file is not available in that location for some reason you would probably have that issue and the another is uh, reason is if you are having the grub prompt again and the another issue it could be is about your grub bootloader so bootloader is corrupted and you probably need to in reinstall your grub so I'm going to show you the steps here how you're going to troubleshoot okay so first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart my system as you can see it landed into grub prompt so now what I need to do is I need to pass the parameter if your bootloader is fine it doesn't have any issue with your grub bootloader then you'd be able to pass the parameter in this grub prompt and you'd be able to boot the system and let me show you how you're going to do that so first thing what you have to do is you just have to do an ls and enter so here one, once you do that you would be able to see the disk information where your system root file system or your slash boot is installed so how you are going to find out in which file system your root partition is installed so just do an ls and check for each and every component here like sd0 and if you do an ls you can see device information and it says no non file system detected that means that this is this is not formatted as file system so like that you have to check the other as well so let me just check for ms those 2 and it gives the same thing and now if i just check for is the ms dos 1 sd0 ms this one I can see it has the partition and it it can find the XFS file system formatted for this sd0 ms this one so now what I have to do is I have to pass some parameter in grub prompt the first thing I have to set and the root partition which is under sd0 comma ms dos 1 enter and once I enter th this you should not be having any error if it is when clean and you get the grub prompt again that means it is working fine and next thing what you have to do is just have to specify Linux and specify your kernel here just do and tab to get that information it can find two kernel one rescue and other the one which 
I'm running in the system and once you specify that you have to make it as read only because init rd init rem fs will uh, mount your root file system as read only initially so that's what we have to specify ro here and specify your root partition and this file system information you should have it so I know that my root partition is under RHEL so this is my volume group RHEL and my LV is root so this is what you have to specify and once you enter it again I have a root prompt a uh, grub prompt so now I need to run initrd command and specify initremfs image so here I can see there are few images and this is my correct image and I, the last extension is .img so let me just run it and once I run that it went through and now I'm good to boot my system so let me just specify boot here and see whether my system is coming up or not yeah so as you can see my system is coming up and it is trying to start the GNOME display since I have installed my system with GUI it is taking a little time to give me a login prompt so it looks like it went through and I am able to boot my system successfully so here it is so now I can see a login prompt and let me just login with root and here is my system you can see I just logged in and initiated a console so this is how you have to troubleshoot and after you get into it once you successfully boot your system you probably need to check why your system went into grum prompt and you need to troubleshoot further probably you need to check the first thing is slash boot go inside that and you would be able to see a directory call grub2 and there there should be a file called grub2.cfg and I do not see that file here that is why I had the issue when I re reboot my system and it went into grub prompt so I have moved the file under slash temp so let me just move it back in the real location which is under boot grub2 and if I just do an LL I can see my file available here so that's it guys for this video I was supposed to show you how to recover or how to successfully start up or boot up your system when you have grub related error so feel free to write any doubt if you have just write them in comment section I will try to get back to you and also if you feel this video is informative for you then please hit like and subscribe thank you so much for watching my video have a good day